In this video, we will solve real-world problems involving trig functions. These problems are sometimes known as word problems. All right, we will be rounding our answers to the nearest hundredth. That's two decimal places. First problem, from a 35-foot observation tower on the coast, a Coast Guard officer sights a boat in difficulty. The angle of depression is four degrees. How far from the boat, how far is the boat from the shoreline? <clears throat> All right, here's a picture of the situation. It is a 35 foot observation tower. So that means um, this height over here is uh, 35 feet. Okay. Um, the angle of depression of the boat is four degrees. Now, um, angle depre of depression and angle of elevation are always the same. Understand that um, when they talk about angle of depression, that's um, someone looking from a height and looking down. So the angle of depression of four degrees would be right here. Now, if you were looking from the perspective of the boat looking up at the tower, um, from your perspective, it would be an angle of elevation. And um, it would be the exact same angle of four degrees, but it would be right here. So um, it really doesn't matter which one of these we're talking about, the angle of depression or the angle of elevation. So you can really use whichever one you want. Um, at any rate, so uh, we have this 35 degree height and this four degree angle. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use this triangle. And um, so we want to find out how far the boat is from the shoreline. So I guess this is the shore over here where the um, observation tower sits. So there, I added the shoreline in the picture. Yes, they did say that the observation tower was on the coast. So there we go. There's the coastline. Um, so that distance would be like this right here, this X. Okay, all right. So um, opposite over adjacent, this is all about the tangent function, my friends. So um, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking tangent of four degrees should equal opposite over adjacent. So 35 over X. And uh, if I want to solve this for x, the easiest thing to do is to use the shortcut. We can reverse the um, denominator with the thing that's out here by itself. So that's going to give us x is equal to 35 over the tangent of 4 degrees. So this we can just put in our calculator, 35 over tangent 4. five hundred point five two feet all right that's how the but far the boat is from the shoreline all right let's look at another example you are standing 100 feet from the base of a platform from which people are bungee jumping. All right, they're jumping off, j holding giant rubber bands and dangling. Anyway, um, the angle of elevation from your position to the top of the platform from which they jump is 53 degrees. From what height are the people jumping? So let's draw a picture. All right, so here's a picture of the situation. Um, so uh, 53 degrees is the angle of elevation from the your perspective where you are standing. So that means this angle down here is your 53 degrees. It says you're standing 100 feet from the base of the platform. So um, the 100 feet is this distance down here. 
100 feet, you know, from roughly from here to here. Okay. Um, so, and we are being asked for the height from which people are jumping. So that's this. So, um, what are we doing here? Uh, opposite over adjacent. This looks like a job for tangent function. So, the tangent of 53 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. So that's x over 100. All right, to get this by itself, we are going to multiply both sides by 100. So those will cancel out. This is basically going to be the answer, 100 tangent 53. Okay, that is 132.70. feet. Alright, is that the number that I said? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's from, you know, that's the height from which people are jumping. So that's it for problem number four there. Let's do one more example. Alright, number five. Fred and Connor are flying kites on a windy day, a windy fall afternoon. Fred released 250 feet of string, and Connor has released 225 feet of string. The angle that Fred's kite string makes with the horizontal is 33 degrees. The angle that Connor's kite string makes with the horizontal is 37 degrees. Which kite is higher? and by how much. So here's a picture of the situation. Here's Fred and we'll let this be Connor. So we'll just do two problems and compare the results. So uh, Fred has released 250 feet of string. So that means that this hypotenuse is 250 feet long. Okay, um, on the other hand, Connor has released 225 feet of string. So his hypotenuse is 225 feet. Okay, the angle that Fred's kite makes with the horizontal is 33 degrees. All right, so 33 degrees happening here. Um, the angle that Connor's kite string makes with the horizontal is 37 degrees. All right, so Connor has 37 degrees going on. Okay, which kite is higher? So, um, we'll let the height of this kite be F for Fred, and we'll let the height of this kite be C for Connor. Um, in each case, we're dealing with opposite over hypotenuse. Um, so this is definitely a job for the sine function. Alright, so we should be thinking about the sine of 33 will equal opposite over hypotenuse. So F over 250. To get F by itself, we will multiply both sides by 250. All right, that way these 250s will cancel out. And that's going to give us um, the height F of Fred's kite. So 250 sine 33. That's 136.16. feet. Okay, 
Um, now let's uh, do Connor. So same situation, sine of 37 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, so that'll be C over 225. Again, to get C by itself, we will multiply by this 225. So these will cancel out, and this will give us C, the height of Connor's kite. All right, so 225 sine 37. So that's 135.41. Okay, so as you can see, Fred's kite is higher. And to know exactly how much higher, we just have to subtract. Point seven five feet. So there you go. Fred's kite is 0.75 feet higher than Connor's kite. Here endeth the lesson.